In this video, we're going to talk about how a dumbbell can help you educate your hands. If you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you have any comments, put them in the links below. I'm Ken Martin, PGA member and golf program instructor here at Kaiser University College of Golf. So we're going to talk about a dumbbell. And a lot of us, uh, sometimes in particular, it shows up in short game shots more so than others, but it can also uh, affect uh, longer shots too. And what that is, is active hands or trying to hit the golf ball a little too handsy. And what that does is obviously uh, misdirect both the approach of the club to the ball, giving us inconsistent contact, and it can also change the direction of the club face. So passive hands or quiet hands are uh, a good uh, trait to have, especially around the greens. So what I discovered was that uh, using a dumbbell because it's counterbalanced, we can actually uh, hold a dumbbell, uh, very similar, it's, it's a little bit awkward to get both hands in there, but even if they're uh, uh, just overlapping fingers, that's fine. The idea is to actually, in the beginning, to give yourself a nice little uh, forward uh, setup with weight on the lead side, like you were gonna hit a chip shot. And the task is to do nothing more than to rock your shoulders and your arms, moving this weight back and forward uh, as though you were moving a golf club. And what you'll notice because of the weight is that it doesn't uh, make any sense to move the club this way uh, or this way. It's just easy to let that weight swing by rocking the shoulders and letting the arms work in timing with it. And you can see if you focus on my forearms, there's literally no rotation, which means that the club face is gonna stay very consistent and very square. They've actually made uh, training aids uh, that resemble a dumbbell. This was an old one that I had for many years. I know that there's a company out there currently making something similar with interchangeable weights. But again, the key is, is that you have a counterbalance on the, the butt end of it, as well as on the forward, so it's the same. When I move this, it feels actually very light uh, because I don't have something heavy and it completely takes my hands out of it. Very unnatural to do anything this way, taking the golf club off plane and changing the angles. So again, the idea would be to move this a few times so that you can get the feel of the weight and then go ahead and grab a golf club and make the same kind of motion. So I'll do that right here. But the idea is now I have the feeling of the dumbbell and it's kind of that, oh, a little bit of a muscle memory feeling and I can move this golf club very similar to the way that I moved the dumbbell to keep the hands nice and quiet. And by going back and forth in a practice session, all of a sudden it becomes real easy to take the hands out of the stroke. So give it a try if you have a dumbbell.